Hi, how you guys doing? I just thought I would do a short video about this guitar. This is the Harley Benton Fusion 3 uh, Silver Sparkle, right? Um, I used it for a live stream concert um, yesterday. So I had three days with it, you know, uh, with the band, with this guitar, with the band. I had two rehearsals and then the day itself, which is Sunday. And um, I just want to share with you uh, how I got along with this guitar for the past three days. Now, the concert is relatively simple. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, wonderful DJs uh, from some of the Chinese radio stations in Singapore, and they got together to hold this concert to uh, promote well-being in the family, especially during this COVID-19. We have a Minister of Transport, our yeah, one of the most prettiest ministers I've seen uh, who can carry a tune. In fact, there are a couple of ministers in this government of Singapore that we have here uh, that <clears throat> are pretty talented. You know, they sing and one of them actually play the guitar pretty, pretty well. All right. So uh, there is Minister Lawrence and um, he's in charge of the uh, Singapore Task Force for COVID-19. Um, so coming back to this guitar. All right. <clears throat> now, this is completely stock. All right. So... Uh, I did manage to take out that two string trees here, so I took it off and the guitar stays really, really in tune, really well. Now, I didn't even put any lubricant on my nut, on this nut. <laughs> There's no lubricant on it. Uh, it just works, you know, and in case you guys don't know, this is a staggered locking tuner, so it works really well without <clears throat> a string tree. Now, string trees, I believe, for me, string trees and the nut, if it's not cut properly, are the main cause uh, for uh, detuning or for tuning being unstable, uh, when, especially when you're using a tremolo arm. Uh, this is a Wilkinson bridge. This bridge has no problem at all. Now, like I said, uh, the, only, the only thing about this guitar is the cavity behind, which is not wide enough uh, for you to do uh, radical uh, dive bombing or you know putting up more than a tone and a half uh, so I'm going to change this to the Vega tram so the Vega tram is on its way probably by tomorrow it would probably reach here in Singapore um, just to tell you how it feels uh, when I'm playing live it plays really really easy and um, initially I was a bit afraid of the black uh, dot uh, markings on the fretboard because I thought like you know when it get pretty dark, you know, it'd be kind of hard to see. But yeah, uh, I, it, it, it didn't it didn't pan out that way. It, it was easy to, to see the dots, so I, I kind of knew my way around the fretboard, right? Even in in a not so bright a condition, and of course there are like fret markers, um, the dots, like the side markers here, but it don't really help because it's really black and it's a bit, uh, you know, inconspicuous among the uh, the darkened uh, roasted maple uh, neck. Um, Guitar is light enough to carry for uh, many hours, but uh, I was I was sitting most of the time, so I didn't feel the weight at all. Um, tremolo arm works really well. Like I said, the only thing that's lacking is the the headroom, or rather the the, um, the room for me to do radical dive bombing or anything like that, which wasn't called for in this gig. Uh, but it would be nice to have. Um, pickups sound really good. You know, <laughs> that that's the thing that that I was. Uh, uh, taken completely by surprise. I thought that these pickups were a little bit too warm, you know. Um, I was explaining to someone about uh, whether is this a, a dark chocolate or just creamy, you know, cream, creamy chocolate. So this is creamy chocolate. Okay, this is creamy chocolate. And it sounds great, even with a clean sound, with the, 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 the stuff that I usually do with the chorus and the delays, you know, it works. Uh, the volume swell, you know. Initially, this uh, volume knob came in a little bit... Um, hard to you know to, to manipulate you know but after a squirt or two of uh, wd-40 clean right up actually it's a wd-40 uh, contact cleaner not a wd-40 lubricant right it, it just clean right up and it's easy now right, for volume swells and stuff and uh yeah I, I i really enjoy myself playing this guitar and i think this will not be the last time that i'll be using this guitar on the on a live gig you know i just can't wait for my bigger tram to come the Vega drum will be in satin, so it'll fit in with the hardware, and it will be really cool. So I thought I'd let you guys know how this guitar uh, fare in a live situation, and um, I just hope you enjoy the clip to follow. 
Uh, there's a couple of uh, episodes from that show yesterday. Right, so in the meantime, you guys, please take care. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Like this video, give it a like. And uh, be part of the Patreon to support this channel. I'll see you again real soon. Ciao.